Okay, we're looking at, uh, well, we just were looking at the talk back feature, so we'll go back to that. If you look at your channel selector, number 10, NOG, that's function number 10. That's your talk back. So I have it set quite high enough to hopefully you guys can hear it through the video. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate the echo, but I want to talk about microphones first with this radio. So as a lot of you have probably already seen, it is four pin right there, four pin, but it is not standard. So what I mean by that is everything is standard except for number four on the plug. So what number four does for this radio is it puts voltage out of the jack for your factory mic to do the channel up, channel down, and I believe the auto squelch. So what I've done is I have a 532 KPO here, microphone, wired for a standard four, so the receive wire is enabled on this on this plug. And this is just a four pin extension cord. You guys probably have seen these or a lot of you might already have them. So what I've done is on this end of it, I just took apart the connector and disconnected the fourth wire on the plug. So now there's no fourth wire connected. So everything is good. We didn't have to change our microphone we just changed the um, extension cable. So basically when we TX, everything's the same. The fourth wire comes through, goes all the way through, but then it stops here because it's not connected to the jack. So there's no voltage present in this cord anymore going back to the mic. Because what will happen is you, you could run the risk of damaging your radio if you just get like a, I don't know, like a 636 a static. You buy one at a truck stop or something. You plug it into this radio. Yeah, it's going to work. But that fourth wire could create damage, and it could damage the radio. More than likely, it would damage the radio over time. Because that voltage is going to come back to the mic. And that from what the manufacturer's telling me, it's just not good. You need to have that fourth wire disconnected. So it's better probably just to do this. That way you can leave all your mics wired for four-pin standard if you have them. And then you could just, you know, get an extension cable, something like this. Disconnect it at the jack going in. Or you could just do it on your mic either way, but that's just my recommendation if you're going to run something like this radio. Um, I believe the uh, Quad 5 uh, Top Gun radio is the same way. I'm not sure about the Anytone Quad 5. Um, we're not talking the Quad 5N, we're talking the original Quad 5. I'm not sure if that's the same way, but it probably is. So it's probably all these chassis of radios. But this is the newest version of all those radios, and in my opinion, it's the best. So... So let's listen to the echo. That's enough talking about the mic. Um, we have our 532 set. We'll turn it down just a little bit. So here is the um, echo. Let me turn it up just a little bit more. So that's the echo. So you can see the uh, inner and the outer at 12 o'clock. And I have a local buddy that I talk to a lot, a good friend of mine. He has one of these radios for me. And I think he runs his about at this level. And he gets really good audio reports like this. So, um, you know, you guys can run it wherever you want. But it uh, has a very, very good sound. And he runs a 532 KPO on his as well. And what he did on his is he rewired the cord. He put a, like an aesthetic style cord on his. And man, that thing is sharp look with that. So these come with a little bit heavier cord he put like your static cord which is a little skinnier and easier to work with and man it looks really nice he did a good job on that so let's turn the echo down a little bit check one two one two so you can kind of get like a more less effect to it you know reverb sound if you want to we'll turn the inner one all the way up turn this one about halfway camera's trying to Focus on my finger. Hello. Check. Let's turn our mic up some. Oh, too much. Check. One, two, three. Hello. Radio. So it'll do that uh, repeat kind of deal. If you want it to do that. Turn the outer. Hello. Check. Check. So... One two. One, two, 
you could really aggravate people if that's what you're into. I don't recommend it, but you know, everybody uses the radio for a certain purpose. Check. Check. One, 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 two, two, two three. three. Hello. Hello. A lot of uh, different options. One, two, three. Nice and clear, clean, right through the talk back. So, some guys hate echo. Some locals will complain as soon as you turn it on, no matter where you have it set. Really just uh, depends. But if it's set right, it's not too bad. I tend to go more towards the reverb sound myself. I want to be understood, but add a little bit more effect to the voice. Check. One, one, two, three, four. I kind of like that right there. I think that's pretty good. He may have actually adjusted his a little bit different. I'm not sure. I have to have him send me a, a picture of how he has his adjusted. But uh, he's got his adjusted. Man, it sounds good. So, so that's your echo right there. And... Uh, I think this is a good level right here myself. For me, I would run it like this all the time. So turn it down more. One, one, two. That's a little more of your like tin canny. Uh, I don't want to really say truck driver sound, but that's kind of how they used to sound back in the old days with the old uh, old echo boards. I think they were called like Connex boards or something. They get that real tinny sound. This probably actually sounds better than that, but... I mean, we could go on and on with the echo, but you can adjust it however you want. It's got a good talkback feature, so you can hear yourself. Hello. One, two, three. That's not too bad right there, either. Hello, radio. Check, check. One, two. So, that's your echo. It does work on sideband, also, if you wanted to aggravate on sideband. One, two. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I mean, you can run it on sideband and actually sound halfway decent if you adjust it right. You guys probably won't complain that much. Some will probably always complain, but it's just the nature of the radio hobby. One, two, three, four. Check, check, check. One, two. So, there you guys have it. That's your echo. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four. Check, check. You might be able to hear my kid getting mad at his video game in the background. We had a snow day today. So, supposed to get quite a bit of snow. So the schools canceled school. Never really had those when I was a kid. You guys probably are the same. You used to walk through two feet of snow to get to school, just like I did. So, it's different now. They take it easy on these young ones. So, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the Echo again. This is uh, was a request. Guys wanted to hear the echo, so uh, we're doing it for everybody that was wondering how the echo sounded. So 7-3, we'll catch you on the next one.